I guess for me, it got to a point where I just couldn't do it all. So we just got back from. That's what I'm talking about. Holy moly! All right. Oh man, there was like a humongous limb that just fell right there. So we check it out. See if it knocked the fence down. Just missed it, didn't it? That huge thing right there. It just fell down. That makes me nervous. Yeah. To like have the, I mean, the kids play out here and stuff, you know? Yeah, that's something that I don't, I haven't done. Just walk around the fences. Take two. Yep. Um, <laughs> So uh, we just got back from a little trip, just the two of us out of town, and it was really nice. Um, and do you want, well, I was just gonna say, like, we haven't been updating very often our, our YouTube because the summer kind of got away from us. <laughs> I mean, it was like, it was really really busy and I know we've alluded to that in other videos but um, I think we might have taken on too much um, what do you want to do you want to say something <laughs> yeah I mean I definitely think we we uh, had a lot going on which you know we could have kept going I think but <laughs> I guess there comes a point where you have to decide on what your priorities are and and that's something that's always changing so you just have to kind of figure that out as you go and make the best decisions as you go so with that we you know I, I work off the farm still which requires the bulk of my time and so um, but I enjoy this kind of stuff and so I try to do both but I guess for me it, it got to a point where I just couldn't do it all like I was just trying to do too much and so we have been um, changing our focus a little bit to um, you know figure out how to make a living basically whether that's me continuing to work or um, you know other streams of income um, so yeah plus we um, with our, our sheep and our cows and our goats you know they eat a lot of grass like a ton of grass and we've had quite a bit of rain this year like it, we haven't been in a drought <coughs> but we don't have enough grass to keep all these animals like I couldn't imagine what it would be like if we were in a drought like, mm -hmm. we would have to feed hay basically just lock them up and feed them hay mm -hmm. but, um, which is, it is expensive mm -hmm. So, still just trying to figure out, you know, what this land will hold, like how, how many animals can we have, you know, because that's a balance, you know. Like this little area here is pretty much done. Like this is our yard, I don't have to mow, but if I leave them in here another day, it's gonna be gone. Like gonna, they're gonna eat it too far down, and the grass doesn't recover. 
So overall, just with the land and the pastures we have, just trying to figure out how many animals we can we can have. Yeah. I think we're. I think the animals that we have right now, with the amount of rain we had, is just right. Mm -hmm. But I know if we didn't have the rain, we, we wouldn't be able to feed them. But too, because you're rotating everybody all the time, it, that's a lot of work. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, it is. So. Yeah. I think that kind of that kind of got you really yeah. overwhelmed yeah. this summer was just the constant moving of everybody while you were working away and yeah so well it's just figuring out where to put them all yeah like, you know <laughs> like right now I know where I'm headed with the sheep the direction that I'm headed but the cows are also headed in that direction okay. so I got to you know got to figure out what to do like, yeah. You know, I could run the cows through a place and then run the sheep behind them, but that just, you know, makes the grass less, whatever. Yeah. It's not as strong if they eat it too far down. Yeah. So, what's your plan? Like, what are you, um, are we going to get rid of some animals? Yeah, yeah, I think we decided to scale back a little bit. Keep, keep, uh, just a few, um, like our sheep, I, I love having sheep. They're probably my favorite. Mm. And uh, you know, I've got this netting which makes it easy to move them around the yard. And I, I mean, I've mowed the yard with a lawnmower once or twice this summer. So that's nice. That's been nice. I'm building the soil, making our yard better, and not having to mow with a lawnmower. But it is a lot of work to do that. A lot of planning and a lot of like. What do we do now? You know, where do we put them now? Yeah. <clears throat> um, but we we are going to scale back. We're going to try to sell a few sheep, and uh, we're going to change the way we do pigs. We're going to sell our breeding stock of pigs and just get a feeder. Is yeah, a feeder, feeder pig. pig. Yeah. yeah. So instead of having a breeding pair of pigs, we're just going to get a, a feeder pig or two every year, which is uh, less expensive cost a lot to buy grain for the pigs all year. So yeah, we're just going to scale back a little bit. And um, our goats too, aren't we going to try to get rid of our mm -hmm. goats? Yeah. We, um, yeah. I don't think we've officially said this on a video about about the cow. About not milking? Yeah. No, I don't think so either. Um, that was a really tough yeah thing and you made that decision like yeah. I, we didn't make that decision we we were going to keep going full steam ahead um but adam was doing a good amount of traveling for his work and sydney and i were in charge of not only all the chores and the milking of the cow and the goats but um also i mean that's just like the tip of the iceberg mm -hmm. because then you have to like do something with it yeah. you have to bring it into the house and then you have to spend hours in the house figuring out figuring out what yeah to do with the milk and so yeah especially when he was out of town that just kind of turned into a full-time job um which was which was okay um but we just i guess we just all felt like we couldn't breathe we just needed we just need to figure out if this is what we wanted and I was going to continue on, but he, he made that decision to stop milking until we were, um, until we felt more ready, I guess, until we had yeah. established more of a routine and, um, yeah. I don't know. Plus we just need, we need like, we need more in infrastructure mm -hmm. to do something like that. I guess, I mean, we could continue like we are, but it just, it's messy. It's a messy job to do in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, and we need to make our barn bigger, like we just need animal handling facilities. Yeah. You know, I mean, we've made do with what we've got, and we, you know, but someone's going to get hurt if we don't have some kind of facility. You know, yeah. For the cows, anyway. I mean, the sheep can be handled by hand, but, um, so yeah. I think before we do the milk cow again, I mean, we really need a, a place for milking, you know, that we can keep clean and then also a place for processing the milk yeah. that we can keep clean. 
and that's what that place is for is just for the milk so yeah <laughs> it was a hard decision to stop milking because yeah uh, you know it's it's good i think i was telling you this weekend about how like when we had milk i was i rarely got hungry like yeah. I drank milk, I, didn't, I could go without eating, mm -hmm. but I just had milk. And we just felt like it was just better for our family yeah. to have that milk instead of what we're buying at the store. And um, so we've, I mean, and just just like, I know it sounds silly, but just like building a relationship with Betty, like I grieved over us not milking her. Yeah. And... I know you probably did too, but like I, I shed tears over it many times about us not milking anymore. Yeah. Um, yeah, because she just provides. Like it just. Yeah. She just gives and gives and gives and gives and. It's like, yeah. Which is nice. It's true about what this, you know, what's said about the cow. A cow will feed the farm. Yeah. Because just like when when I was gone, I mean, you could have easily like not worried about processing the milk, just fed the chickens and the pigs. Yeah. You know? It seems sort of wasteful, but you can just take the cream, take the best of it, and use that, and then feed the rest to everybody else. Yeah. <coughs> so. So we miss. We it's miss definitely that. worth having a cow. A milk yeah. Cow for sure. Yeah. It's worth it's, it's worth the work if you have the time to do it. Yeah. But it does tie you down. Like you can't you can't do anything else. Yeah. So, I mean, next year she'll have a calf, and so that'll make it a little easier time-wise. Mm -hmm. We'll be sharing the, sharing with the calf. Mm -hmm. And so if we need to go for an evening to do, go do something, you know, we could just leave, just not milk her and leave the leave calf. Leave the calf on her? Yeah. Yeah. But without having a calf, you know, it's twice a day, every day, you know. It's, it's a time commitment for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take long, like... I had it down to what, 20 minutes. You did. The actual milking was 20 minutes. You, know, you did. So, it took me and Sydney yeah. about 45 minutes to milk her. So probably 30 minutes total, morning and evening. So an hour a day for two, mm -hmm. two gallons of milk mm -hmm. a day. Yeah. But, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna scale back a little bit with our with our animals, which is fine. I mean, we've like this. This flock, is it a flock or a herd? It's a flock of sheep. So, yeah, like this flock of sheep, we've grown from like six ewes or whatever. Yeah, I don't remember how many. We started. bought six or so ewes, and then we bought a ram. And I think we only have one original, two. We've got two originals left. Isn't that right? The white one and the black one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The rest are... Uh, all offspring mm -hmm. that we've produced here. Yep. So, you know, we've already sold several sheep. Yeah. So, I just think, you know, with the, with the purposes I need them for now, which is mowing the grass, we only need like half a dozen or so. What do we have now? 20? Uh, yeah, something like Somewhere that. around 20. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yep. Well, that's cool. It worked. Yeah, we got our fall garden started. So we've got cabbages in this row. So the next row is collards. Beets, which need to be thin. Did you know that each beet seed has like three to five plants on it? No. So we got beets there, and then beets here, and beets there. So lots of beets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have carrots. All that is carrots over there, except for that side, which is Brussels sprouts. Okay, so over to the right? Yeah. Okay. Two rows of spinach and then a row of turnips. Okay. That's a lot. And all this, I've done all this by hand. 
So I put a tarp, one of those tarps like that up there. Yeah. Put a tarp over the grass and killed the grass because it looked like that yeah. before I did it. And then took the tarp off and raked back to the dirt and planted the seeds. And so now I have the dead grass and leaves in, in between the rows. I've noticed a huge difference in the, the quality of the soil since I've been doing it this way. Like typically, and we can see it up there where I haven't done it, typically this time of the year you can't even scratch into the soil. It's so it's so dry and like you can't even get a pitchfork down in it like it won't even go and this I can get a, a shovel in like about 18 inches you know just just sinks right in yeah so that's telling me that the roots will easily go down and you know, do really well Figure out where to put a uh, uh, wash station mm -hmm. for next year. Yeah. Do you have plans for this spot right here? This that's got tarp on it right now. Uh, it's just for when I run out of room when I'm planting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Probably turnips. Yeah. <clears throat> a little bit excited. I was going to do a U pick. Plant this whole garden here and turnip greens and mustard and kale and stuff for people to come pick, but I don't, don't know if I am or not. I'm gonna plant it, but probably not for a you pick. So that tomato plant that we gave the hollers, we don't have another one like that. I wondered if it was similar to that, the round cherries that we've been eating that we like so much. Yeah, it is. I mean, we had one, but it's dead because I moved it. Yeah. This is going to be some good ground next year. I'm going to leave the chickens right here until, until next year. Okay. Bring in some leaves and pile it up. Pile them up. We're trying to sell this big fella, so if y'all know anyone who wants a ram, he produces lots of lambs. Like without chickens? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I could. Yeah, Adam just said, I guess we'll always have chickens, won't we? I don't think we could do life without chickens. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say? Chicken's the gateway drug. Yeah. That's true. Pretty, pretty easy to start. They're pretty easy to care for. Yeah. And they just do, they do amazing stuff to the ground. Yeah, just for that, you like yeah. having them. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would keep them even if they didn't get eggs. So right now we're using our chickens for eggs and meat. Yeah. And garden prep. And garden prep. That's easy to do. You just take some planting. You know, like this area next year, that's that's what I'm planning for and working for is next year's garden. I want this whole area to be just like the best spots down there where the carrots are. This, this spot did good this year because we brought in compost. Remember? Yeah. I, don't, I don't guess you helped with that, did you? Spreading all that compost? I did when we were, <coughs> we took the compost up there. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. So we bought probably $50 worth of compost. Yeah, it wasn't that much. It was just one load. Mm -hmm. $30 worth of compost. But we grew how much? How many potatoes? How many pounds <laughs> of potatoes? I didn't, I didn't see the whole, well, I've been under the pounds, house, yeah. Probably more than that. Probably 70 pounds of potatoes. Yeah, probably so. And our basil is jamming, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Use some of that tonight. Yeah. There she is. Miss yep. Betty. Hey girl. Is she gonna is she gonna um forget us? Well, that's about it for today. Thank y'all for walking the farm with it with us and uh listening to our um our update and our hard decisions we've had to make and um we just appreciate you guys following along with us we uh, hope you'll stick around and see what's next for us and we'll catch you next time bye